No divisions, fight and quarrel. That is the topic I'm going to talk to you. Now, when I was asking, what is this message for? He said, this message is for overcomers deliverance as a deliverance ministry. We have to learn this. It's a teaching. It is, it is a teaching topic. So I said, okay, let me try to find the scripture which is pack up because always there should be a, a, a pack up. Then I was given this scripture from the book of 1 Corinthians, verse 1, chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible says, this is Paul. Paul is saying, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you. That, but you have to be perfectly. Yes, perfectly what? United, United, United in mind and thought. Let me repeat again. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say, and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thoughts. So, this is Paul was appealing to brothers and sisters. And he is saying that we have to agree to one another. No divisions, no divided, no divided and lose. Because there's powers in the church that they divide and rule. So there's a group in the church whereby they have divisions. So Paul is saying, don't do that. To doing that, you may miss the kingdom of heaven. And that is not Christian. That is not Christianity. If you do like that, if you have, if you have, you separate people, you scatter people. It is not going to be well. So Paul is telling us that we should not among 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 us among, which means the church of God, should not have these div uh, divisions, all divide and rule. This is what the Bible says. So. In, and let's look in the, in the book of First Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 17. Here, the Bible says, Dear brothers, dear brothers and sisters, when I was with you, I, I, could, I could not talk to you as I would be, as I could do spiritual people. I had to talk as true, although you belonged to this world, or as although you were infants in Christ. I had to feed you with milk, not with salt food, because you were not ready for anything strong. And you still, you are not ready, for you are still controlled by your sinful nature. You are terrors of one another, and a quarrel with each other. You see now here, Paul is, is talking to them and telling them, that he gave them the milk, not salt food, not strong food, because they can't take it. Already, there are some people who are quarreling. Yeah? I like the English here. There are some people who are jealousy <laughs> to one another. <laughs> Do you see now? And each other. They are quarreling, they are quarreling. Some of them, they don't want the other people. Some of them, they don't want. You know, this is the word of Jesus Christ. The divisions that the enemy is putting into, into the church, it is there. You find some people in the church, they don't talk to each other. You find people are not talking. And they are in the same church. They don't love each other. They don't like each other. They don't like each other. So, the Bible is telling us, Paul is teaching, he was a teacher, apostle, a prophet, and now he's teaching. He's teaching the church. He said, I know some of you, because you know he started among you, among the church. You should not be divisions among you. So you find that people, uh, I was talking the other day about, uh, about mockery and what? Who knows the topic I was talking? Uh, rejection and mockery. So I was talking, do not let anybody to reject you or to mock you. 
Because it doesn't matter. It's not that you are from the, this background. It doesn't matter that you are a white, you are a black, you are a what? The spirit of rejection or the spirit of jealousy or the spirit of greedy or the spirit of jealousy. Yes, it is, it is for everybody. A person who has the spirit of jealousy, a white person can have the spirit of jealousy, a black person can have the spirit of jealousy. And this is the spirit that is operating in the church. And it is going to make to take many people to hellfire. People who, are, who has this spirit, they, they cannot go anywhere. Even if we pray, we give prayer point, we pray for you, you do a hundred times uh, deliverance. If you, if you have this spirit, you cannot go anywhere. Because we pray and then you invite the demons and then the demons come and live in your body. Now, of course, teaching says, for you are still controlled by your sinful nature. Anybody who has that spirit is controlled by sinful nature, is not saved. Yeah? You are jealous of each other and quarrel with, with each other. Does not that prove you, you are controlled by your sinful nature and not you living like people of the world? You see, you are living like people of the world. That is what the Bible says. People, if you are a child of God, you are a born again children of God. And you find yourself, you have divisions. You don't like other people. You don't want this. You, you, you control it. Then there is no difference between the world people. You are a world person. You have no child Christ. You are lying to yourself. So Paul is asking. He said, Alan, Alan, do you living like people of the world? When one of you says, I am a fool of Paul, and another says, I am a fool of Apollos. Apollo, 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 Apollo. You see, now, <laughs> <laughs> this is very serious. When I was looking, some they say, I like Mama Christine. Some are jealous with my people, they don't want to come to Mama Christine. So some are saying, I like this so division. <laughs> now, listen, now I love, I said, God, this good boy was talking this. So he says, I follow Apostle, uh, Apostle uh, Apollos. Uh, some says I follow Paul. Now, Alan, do you acting just like people of the world. Yeah? Now, after all, who is apostles? Who is our apostles? Who is Paul? We are all only God's servant. Through we, whom you, we believe the good news. Each of us did, did the work the Lord gave us. I plant the seed in your hearts and apostles water it. But it was God who made it grow. It is not important who does the planting or who does the water. What is important is that God makes the seed grow. The one who plants and the one who, who waters who work together with the same purpose. And both will be rewarded for their own work. For we are both God's work, workship, workers and you are God's field. You are God's buildings. So here, you see, it is all about Jesus. It's all about God. Yeah? There's no point people come from their houses and go to the church. You separate yourself. You, you, you are like a world person. We need the love of God. We need when you come to church, you, uh, you have to someone will hug you, say, hello, how are you? you? You have to leave these things. People, those people who are living like that, they, they, they are like the world people. That's what the world people do. People, they have no love. They don't want other people. Jesus did not come for good people. Remember, there was a man. He was a madman, a very dangerous person. This person was living in the tombs. And he was living in the mountain and tombs. He was suffering with schizophrenia. He was cutting himself. He was a very dangerous person. When he saw Jesus, he ran to Jesus. And Jesus helped him. He healed him. The Bible says Jesus did not come for good people. He came for bad people. He came for mad people. He came for sick people. He came for people who are having problems. Good, we are not here to serve good people. Good people, they know where they belong. So some people, they, th they think that, uh, 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 that, that especially this deliverance ministry, People think that you need good people. You might get crazy people, really bad people, people with mental challenging. 
and it is our responsibility to help those people, to love them, to pray for them, and, and help them. Because through the prayers, they will be saved. You cannot reject somebody because he's crazy, because he's, he's having some issues, or because of the color, or because he's, a, he's, a, he's a background. Jesus did not come for that. We need to love each other, no matter where you have come from. The Bible says, you are the world. If you anybody doing like this, is in the world. If Jesus comes, you will go to hellfire straight. And I don't want any one of us to go to hellfire. Yeah, so, even if you will do these prayers, you are firing yourself. So we better check ourselves. Do we love our neighbors? Do we have, uh, what is it, uh, discrimination? Yeah? Do you talk to your neighbors? Are you the person who does not want to see other people? Are you the person who, who, who washes hands like this self, like this? You don't need other people not near you. No. The Bible says if you are that, that such a type, you are in the world. We need the love of God. Paul says even if you give yourself, give everything, if you don't have love, it is nothing. Even if you sacrifice, you are given to burn yourself, if you don't have love, it's nothing. So love covers everything. If you love God, then you will love your neighbor, and also you will love yourself. So Paul is talking to us here, very serious, that we, 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 we are not different from the world people, because that is how the world people behaves. And then if you read the whole chapter, you see he was talking that he said, I didn't die to anybody. Why do you follow me? <laughs> Yeah, if you can read the whole chapter, you will see Paul is declaring, "I didn't, I didn't die for you. Why, why do you want to, to follow me?" And and some, I, I, I was not even crucified. I was not even baptized you because people were following him and some were following Apollos. So Paul said, "No, no, no, you can't like this. you cannot be like this. We are all preaching the word of God. I love you, the love of God. I, I don't have things in my heart that." I have to, to, to take care of this one and I, I forgot that one. So let's look at the book of James. James 4, verse 1 to 17. James, James 4, yes. The Bible says, why do you fight and quarrel? Is it because you are, you, your feelings are, fright, are fighting inside of you? <laughs> it's a talk. That is why you are fighting. Is it something fighting on you? That's why you are fighting. Why, 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 why is the quarrel? What is the quarrel? People are quarreling. People are fighting. Is it because something is in you? Fighting you, so you, so you want it to fight in you. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You, you want something, but you cannot get it. Then you, you kill. <laughs> you want something very much. And you cannot get it. So you quarrel and fight. You do not get it because you do not ask God for it. Yeah? So some people, they pray they have not got what they've been praying. So do you want to kill people because God has not given you? Do you want to be tech? Do you want to carry bitterness that you have been praying? I'm tired. I've been praying. So you, your time is coming. God will give you. So that bitterness, everything you are doing, Remember, you are opening the door for the enemy because you, 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 are, you have something fighting in you, so that that's why you, are, you feel like that. Now, verse 4 says, You ask for it, but you do not get it because you ask in a wrong way. You want to use it for yourself and not for others. So, that is what it is. Some people they want things for themselves, not for others. Selfish. People are so selfish. People are so selfish, not for others. Serve me, 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 me. That's what Joyce Meyer says. People want everything they want themselves. Some people, they want themselves and their children and their wife. That is it. They don't see other people. <laughs> they don't know anybody else. I have seen people like that. Even there was two brothers who went to Jesus and told Jesus, let us, one of us sit on the right side and one of us sit on the left side. Then Jesus looked at them and said, can you drink the cup that I'm going to drink? They said, yes. Then he said, okay, I don't have power to do that. You know, selfish, greedy. They don't want the other people. They want themselves. They decided they want one to sit on the left side and another one on the right side. So the other people will not have anything. 
<laughs> some people they yeah, some people are like that. So uh you people promised God you would be true to him, but you did not say stay true. Do you not know that if you love the world, you hate God? Anyone who wants to be a lover of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Yes, you, you become an enemy. That's why these prayers, when you, you pray and you are an enemy of God, then it will attack you. You understand? Yes. So, when you see, if you love the world, you hate God. Anyone, anyone who wants to be a lover of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Now, the holy writing says, God gave his spirit to live in us, and the spirit wants us for himself. Do you think this means nothing? Do you think this means nothing? What the Bible is asking like that. This is James, the brother of Jesus. The holy writing says, the scripture says, God gave his spirit to live in us, and that spirit wants us for himself. Do you think this means nothing? But God helps you even more than that. That is why the whole lightings, or the, the, the scripture, the whole scripture says, God fights against those who are proud, but he helps those who are not proud. You see? That's how it is. God fights against those who are proud. Pride, pride spirit. God will fight them. It's all pride spirit, God will fight. And the Bible says God fights against those who are pride, but he helps those who are not proud. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. So let God control you. Fight the devil and he will, he will run away from you. Yes. The Bible says, God is good. The Bible says, the Bible says, so let God control you. Fight the devil and he will run away from you. Fight the devil and he will run away from you. In the name of Jesus. So let God control you. Fight the devil and he will run away from you. That's what is going to happen. Now, when you, 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 you fight the devil, the devil will run away from you. When you fight the devil, so let God control you, fight the devil, and he will run away from you. The devil, the Bible says, resist the devil, he will flee from you. That's King James. But here, the modern English, they call it uh, East English. They call it East English. This is East in in Bible. It is put in really easy English. <laughs> Very easy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, you see, the King James says, says, says that uh, resist the devil, the devil will run away. It's the same thing. Fight the devil and he will run away from you. Yes. yes. The devil, that make you like what Paul was saying. If you resist, he will run away. The devil will run away. Amen. Come to God and he will come to you. You bad people. <laughs> you bad people. You make your hands clean. You love what is good and what is wrong. At the same time, make you, your heart clean. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I love this scripture. When I was looking at this, I said, yeah, there's some bad, really bad people. There's bad people in the church. We are talking in the church. You find the church of God has divisions, divided. They don't like other people. They don't even say hi. Yeah, they don't sit together with the other people. I, they don't even say hi. They, 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 the house of God is where you come for love, healing. Peace. Yeah? You cannot come to divide the church. You can't bring your witchcraft to the church. That is not, it's not what you accept. That's what the world do. That's what the world do. Now, you are a born again Christian, but still you are living in a sinful nature. You are living in, in sin. 
The sin in you, it, it, it makes you to do things like you are in the war. Remember everything we are doing, we are fighting for our salvation and we are, we are prepare ourselves to the heaven, not to go to hell fight. There's no point, there's hell and there's, there's, there's heaven. These things are the ones which will take you to hell fight. They are really bad, 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 bad people in the church. They, want, they are so selfish. Selfish. They are only want themselves. Do you know some people, they control me, they buy me, they want to buy me, they want to pay me. <laughs> so that I, <laughs> I already attend them. I see some people, so somebody was paying me. He said, I can pay you. He called me and he said, I can pay your time. And I want you to be like, like what? Like, like uh, protecting me. Yeah? <laughs> you will be my protector. You protect me. So you will be, I will pay you. You don't have to worry anything about money. Because they pay witchcraft so much money to protect them. And they don't want anything. Yeah? They don't want anything. So I told the person, I'm not a witch and I'm not a psychic. <laughs> Yeah. So the man is he's in Mississauga. He lives in Mississauga. He found me in Periscope. Called me from. <laughs> he wanted. To, he insisted. He wanted to make appointment to come and see see me, and he's ready to pay me. I said no, 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 no. I don't need the money. I'm okay, and I'm okay what the way I am, and I'm okay what I'm doing. <laughs> yes. The person goes to a church, the reason why he likes me is because I attack the demons and I pray in very strong prayers. Yeah? But now, he found that if he can help me, I can protect him. So, I said, not with me. <laughs> now, you see, he goes to one church in Mississauga there. Then I said, you have your church, you have your pastor, why can't you pay your pastor and pastor can do that? That they don't know. They don't know this prayer you are doing. They, then I said, you, you can also protect yourself. The prayer is there. I can teach you. I can help you. No, 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 no. I want you to come and just pray for me and protect me. I said, I'm not Jesus. I'm not God. I'm not God. Yeah? So, you see some people like that, when they come to a place, they want to control and hold people. Yeah? Through gifts. Oh, they are giving you gift, you think that that gift is free, but they want to control you and manipulate you. Yeah? That's not good. And now those people, after that, they don't want other people. They only want themselves and their children. The Bible has said no. <laughs> they have said no, don't do that. Now, you see, be sad about this and cry. <laughs> Turn your loving heart to cry. Stop being happy. Be sad. It is, it's sad. It's very sad. It's not good. It's sad. It's not good. Yeah? When people, they don't like other people because of their background, because of the way they look like, you find they don't like the other people. That's bad. That's very sad. It's not nice. Yeah? When I went to, to, to New York, it happened, we went to one of the restaurants, and we were only black people. And that place, that restaurant, no black people goes there. <laughs> now everybody was, what? Like, we, 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 we did something bad to enter there. And, and then, <laughs> I said, this is America. And then I said, I am from Canada, we don't see these things here. What is happening? And then, then everybody, the, the people were happy, were celebrating, everybody just put their hand down and they were looking like this. Like they are ready to run, to leave the place. Even we see them, they would have left the place. Honestly speaking, even we could have sit down, they would have left the place and go. So, <laughs> that's bad it is. But anyway, those are the wild people. We have no problem with the wild people. But the, the Christians, the Christians also, they do the same thing. They, because they don't want others, and some they can leave the church because they don't want other people. Yeah? 
They are there like the world. Like those, those world people. Yeah? And it's, this is what I saw and I say, my God. Jesus did not die for black people or white people. Jesus did not die for Indian people or Muslim. Jesus died for all of us. We never believe in him. Everybody, anybody who believes in the name of Jesus is saved and Jesus has set us free. Now, you see here, the Bible says, do not be proud before the Lord, then he will lift you up. King James says, say, humble yourself before, oh my God, he will lift you up. That's what King James said. But he says, do, okay, this thing is going very fast. <laughs> Somebody's helping me here. Where am I? Which, which number, ten. number 10, yeah. Yeah, I see sometimes they are pushing me very fast. I know that uh, <laughs> the devil is a liar. My brothers, do not say wrong things about each other. It says brother. Here they say brothers. <laughs> so it says, do you have any, another transaction? Translation. Speak not evil one from another person. Yes. Speak not evil. He has said, do not say wrong things about each other. A man who says wrong things about his brother or a judge his brother is saying wrong things about God's law and is judging God's law. If you judge the law, you are not obeying the law, but you are a judge. Yeah? God made the law and he is the church. God is the owner of the law. And he is the one who can save you or kill you. It's God. God can kill you. <laughs> God can save you and can kill you. Who are you that you should judge your neighbor, your brother? Who are you? Who are you? Who has put it? You know, this is very good question. Who are you to judge somebody? You might say, you don't know people. You don't know the people, the way they live. I can do something now. I can do something now. Then I go and I repent. I ask God to forgive me. I'm sorry, God, God has forgiven me. Now, when God has forgiven me, you, you don't forgive me. You're still holding the grudge. You're still judging me. Who are you to judge? Why can't you leave the people of God the way they are? And God will bless you. This judgmental thing has, has made many people to go to hell fire. For example, our brother here, when he was in the world, he was just in the world. He put a lot of the twists, but because he's in the world, now he's, he's saved, he's a Christian. Yeah? He can't go back to do those things. Now when people look at him, they judge him straight away. Brother is going to heaven. You who are judging him go to hell fight. Yes. <laughs> you can't sit there. <laughs> yeah? Yes. And again, you have a tattoo. And again, you have a tattoo. Yeah. Not these things you made. Yeah. yeah. Even people, Christians, see this deliverance. Means that if they say you, they say devil. Yeah. They will call you devil. And you, they will, you will clean heart, you are prepared yourself to go to hell. The person who is judging you will go to hell fight. Yeah. We don't have to church, we don't have to look people and church them. Yeah. It's wrong. It's not good. My brother here, we traveled together and I was preaching the car in the bus. He has a loving spirit. He made a friend. You made your friend there. And, and he was doing good. And he was very proud of telling people, this is my pastor. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody is judging him because of that tour, because of what? It's wrong. It's you know, very bad. God said you shall know them by the fruit. Mm. Yes. You know, out of the abundance of the heart, the man speaketh. Yes. You know, if you judge by the cover, you can get on the whole book. Good. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, you see? You, we don't have to judge people. Yes. You people were the world, they did so much. Even you, when you were in the world, you did so much. People do a lot of things when they are in the world. But when they come to Jesus, they are different people. Yeah? So you can't check them if the person was well, a prostitute. Certain Christians I can stay away from. Yes? Certain Christians, oh man, I'm like, oh no. Good. Certain so, Christians, I don't judge them, but I can stay away from them. You know, I'm like, oh. Good, good. So now, <laughs> yes, let's, let's 
look at this scripture. Listen to me. You say tomorrow or today or tomorrow, we will go to that town. We will stay there a year. We will buy and sell and get rich. But you do not know what will happen to you tomorrow. <laughs> yes. What is your life like? Is it like a, a crowd? Is it here for a little world and there it is gone? We are first 14. Now first 15. You should say, if the Lord wants to do it, we will live and do this or that. But now you talk about the big things. You will do all that kind of talks is wrong. But if a person knows what he should do and he does not do it, he has done something wrong. So here, there's some people who promise you something. Come tomorrow. When tomorrow comes, <laughs> change his mind. That's wrong. That's bad. Because he knows very well I'm not going to do it. But he's just saying, I promise you, don't worry, tomorrow I'm going to do to you. But now tomorrow comes, the calling, you can't take the call. You can't beat the call. He said, <laughs> it is wrong. That's a Christian. That's a, he's talking about the church. Yeah? So now, the person will not pick the phone. They will know you can call, call 100, you read the message, and it's up to you. You will never see even that person. And the person knows very well it, 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 it's not going to do it. That's wrong. That's bad. Yeah? You find some people, they live such a life and they say they are going to heaven. So this is all about foundation. And we are going to pray these enemies affecting the church of God, affecting the children of God to be stopped in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. I have to pray. We need to pray. And if there's, you know, something inside in you, it's making you to miss heaven. And people must repent and ask God to forgive them. Because the Bible is telling us very clearly that we should not judge. God is, 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 God is a church and he, he has given us law and it's the church of that law. It's just the grace of God that we should live right. Hallelujah. This prayer, it is very powerful. It is one to deliver so many, many, many thousands and thousands of people. I'm going to put in the website and they used to. It is one to help so many people. Especially when you are, your life is miserable like that. I am preparing you, you to go to heaven. Sometimes you hear us talking about generational curses, what have you. But this is also is another area that we, you need to know. Let's start praying. Ask God to forgive you any sin, any area. And Pastor, come, I want you to do this prayer with me. Hallelujah, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want you, God, my Father, to forgive me any judgment that I have done, any wrong that I have done. Because I don't like so and so, Lord, my Father, forgive me. Lord, the spirit of judgment, the, the spirit of uh, 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 selfish, Lord, destroy in Jesus' name. Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus. I pray that God Almighty, my God and my Father, you are God of full of love. You love us, Lord, the way we are. You love us, God, my Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you to give me the spirit of love, to love people who are unloved, to reach to the people, to those people who, can, who cannot be reached because my Father and my God, I want to thank you, God. I want to bless your name. I give all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Let's stand up. Let's pray this prayer. The prayer is goes like this. Serpentine and scorpion. Serpentine and scorpion. In my foundation. In my foundation. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. You know serpentine and scorpion. Serpentine is serpent is 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 Satan, Lucifer. Scorpions are demons. So these demons, they are operating in the life of the people. So you command them to come out of your life. You yes. pray, pray very aggressive. If they are the ones who are operating in your life, that makes you don't want to like people, that makes you you don't like other people, it will come out. Yes. This message is for the people, the whole world, 
Many, many, many people. It's not in a, in a church of God. People are Christian, born again Christian. Even those who are going to be born again, wherever you listen to this message, try to pray them and, and if you can't hear properly, say amen. Now, if you can beat them, you go like this. Serpentine and scorpion. Serpentine and scorpion. Serpentine and scorpion spirit in my foundation. Serpentine and scorpion spirit in my foundation. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Serpentine and scorpion spirit in my foundation. Serpentine and scorpion spirit in my foundation. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Demonic knife, pursuing my life, 
Our, our husband, they married two, two wives and they live in one place. But here they divorce. There's no difference. If you have been divorcing, marrying, divorcing, that is brigham. Yes. yes? That is it. Yes. That is brigham. Is done. That is the spirit that we need to, to pray. Which one? Number 12. Okay. Let's do it and then we can go back again. Because this thing sometimes it runs very fast. Domestic wicked, wickedness from brigamy affecting my life. Domestic wickedness from brigamy affecting my life. Scattered by fire in the name of Jesus. You know, this is a prayer you need to pray very hard. Those people who are remarried, who have more than two wives, more than girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, this is the prayer that you need to stop it because it's affecting you. Yes. You are not free. Let's pray again. Domestic wickedness. Domestic wickedness. For freedom is affecting my life. For Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Scatter by fire. Jesus. 
I reject and vomit by fire. I reject and vomit by fire. Every food sacrificed to idols and evil altars. Every food sacrificed to idols and evil altars. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Dancing with masquerade and demonic festivals troubling my life. Release me and die. Dancing with masquerade and demonic festivals troubling my life. Release me and die. Release me and die. Release me and die. Bathing with demonic soap. Using fetish material, leaves, powder, powder, feather, feathers, evil marks. I set you on fire in Jesus' name. Bathing with demonic soap, using fetish material, leaves, powder, feathers, and evil marks. I set you on fire. You know, these are people, they are the ones who feed this uh, priest or satanic people. They bath you with soap and wash you with this material leaves, border, feathers. They can dip their feathers, you know, feathers, mm -hmm. and they, wa they wash you, you know, these things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, some people they have gone through that. That is demonic, and they're putting a lot of demon in your body, and your life will never be the same. They will destroy you forever. You will never be the same again. If you you are a victim of that, pray this prayer very hard. Pray, 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 and repeat it in the name of Jesus. Yes. Which number was that? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and repeat it. Bathing with demonic soap. Soap. Using fetish material, leaves, fetish material. leaves, powders, feathers, and evil marks. I set you on fire. In Jesus, name. In Jesus' name. Bloodshed. Blood evil addiction. Evil slave trade. Killing innocent children. Innocent children. Abortions. Abortion. Tribal killers. Troubling my glory. We leave it by fire in Jesus' name. Yes, we leave my glory. Bloodshed. Evil dedication. Slave trade. Killing innocent children. Abortions. Tribal killers. Troubling my glory. We leave it by fire and die. Arrows fired from the grave, but fire by thunder. Arrows fired from the grave, but fire by fire. Any curse spoken when I was in the womb. On the day of dedication, on the day of my marriage, break the fire and die in Jesus. Any curse spoken when I was in the womb, on the day of dedication, on the day of my marriage, break the fire and die in the name of Jesus. Break now, break now, and that will break now, and that 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 break now, and the liar from my father's house, fear of my mother's house, pursuing my marriage, receive the stones of fire and die in your mercy. Evil patterns of 
hardship, failure, disgrace in my foundation, die in the name of Jesus. Witchcraft padlock, locks, cobwebs, cages that lock my style, break and release me and catch Witchcraft padlock, locks, cobwebs, cages that block my star. Break, release me and catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire, catch fire. Seed tree of witchcraft in my foundation. Axe of God uprooted by fire. Seed tree of witchcraft in my foundation. Axe of God uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus. Any image, any any image. Yes. Carvings, yes. sculpture, yes. representing me on an evil altar. Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! Catch fire! I pull down every witchcraft wall surrounding my glory. Marks. Lords, Lord. signs, Sign. emblems of witchcraft upon my head. Disappear by the blood of Jesus. Marks, Lords, signs, emblems of witchcraft upon my head. Disappear by the blood of Jesus. Disappear by the blood of Jesus. Lord my God, I cover this prayer with the precious blood. I thank God that God, you are God Almighty. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I seal this prayer with the precious blood. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you very much. God bless you so much. See you tomorrow, 8 o'clock a.m. This is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Isigi, saying bye-bye to you. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock, please come. I have a special announcement to make to you. Tomorrow, 8 o'clock a.m. Thank you very much. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening or a morning or afternoon in your country. I don't know, but God bless you and have a wonderful time. Thank you very much. Bye.